What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at my new camera. So I picked up the Sony ZV-1F uh, digital camera right here and I picked this up from Best Buy. I end up getting this for $419. It's normally retails at uh, about $499, $500. But I had some points and credit over there and I was able to get this at that price. So the reason I have this I normally use my Canon M50, but it stopped reading my SD card. So I sent it to get it repaired. And, uh, you know, I just decided I want a backup camera and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on one. Now, I've heard good and bad about this, this camera. I'm going to have to try it out for myself and see how it works. Now, there's some limitations with this and we'll get into it. Uh, but in the meantime, since my Canon M50 broke, I've been using smartphones, which smartphone cameras are very good these days. Uh, a lot of them will probably give you just about as good a quality as this camera or better. But I hate the idea of having to transfer the uh, video or whatever from the smartphone to my tablet or my uh, desktop where am I going to edit. I like the idea of taking my uh, micro SD card out plugging it into a dongle a, uh, or right into my tablet or over here with my, my desktop and just going off of that. I don't like transferring from a smartphone to my editing uh, device. So uh, that's one uh, another reason why I decided to pick this up. Now, I probably could have looked around and found a, you know, more feature pack camera for that price range but it's probably going to be secondhand. So my purpose for this is just to do product reviews. Say I am reviewing this phone. Uh, I want just the camera just to point at this and uh, do that. I'm not going to be taking out vlogging or doing uh, anything outside, taking photos with this camera. I just specifically bought it for a backup to my Canon M50 and I may use it for top downs or something like that. So that is why I bought this. Uh, a lot of people say it's trash. I'm going to have to find out for myself if it is. If it doesn't work for the purpose that I need it for, I can always take it back. So uh, one limitation with this, this is a fixed lens on here. You cannot add a lens. You can't. Uh, it doesn't zoom. It's a one inch CMOS uh, sensor, which, you know, it should be pretty good. I had the, the ZV-1. Uh, that one had a zoom lens on it, uh, but this one is wider. This is a wide angle lens right here. It has a three inch touchscreen display, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, 20.1 megapixel sensor. Now, this will shoot up to 4K at 30 frames a second. It's f2.0 uh, as well. Uh, you got 1080p full HD up to 120 FPS, which is slow motion. You got custom. Picture profiles on here. You got S log two and three product showcase, which is uh, the reason I main reason I got it. Uh, I want to use that. Now, the, the focus on here is contrast focus. So that's not like your regular focusing on there. It, uh, that's some kind of stuff Sony put in there. Uh, contrast focus. Apparently, it's not it's supposed to be as good, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I said this is touch screen and it has digital zoom. Uh, four times. So no optical zoom. But like I said, for what I'm going to be using it for, just recording products should be good. Here's the packaging. You guys have seen it. Very nice orange box. Let's go ahead and get this out and see what's in the packaging here. So my Canon M50, uh, I don't know how long it's going to be before it gets uh, repaired. Get your paperwork and stuff in here. And this is a tiny little camera, just like the ZV-1. Has a little weight to it, though. So here's the camera. Going to put it over to the side. Got a dead cat already on it. <laughs> You're going to get your uh, charging cable. This is Type-C as well. So uh, the, the ZV-1 had micro USB. So that's it. They don't separate anything, the battery and all that. That's pretty cool. Everything is already ready to go out of the box. I uh, thought they would have a camera lens protect on here. 
with this, but I guess not for 400 bucks. So, <laughs> uh, 500 bucks, but I paid 419. Let me double check the, back, the box here. Oh, that is it. That is it. So, uh, here's the camera. You got your camera lens here, which is a 20.1 megapixel. You got to see that. You got your dead cat here, which is on top of a cold shoe. Let's see if I can get this off of the cold shoe. There it is. It just pops off. That's the dead cat. That's a unique looking one there. Your cold shoe right there. You got your speaker, your on and off button. You got your, uh, this is your movie and S and O button. You got your, I'm not exactly sure what all these buttons are, guys, but I'm going to look at this little paper I wrote down here. This is going to be your shutter button. This is your movie button. And this is your C1 button, which you can program that button right there. And then you got your three inch touchscreen display that does uh, fold out, rotate out, which is good. And then you're going to have your menu button, your FN button. You got your control wheel here. And you got your trash can button there, your playback button right here, and your, your wheel. You know, that's pretty much it. At the bottom of it, you're going to have your battery compartment. Let's go ahead and get this open. And here's your battery. So this is the NB, NPBX1 battery, which I have some spare ones like this. So uh, that is good. You're going to put your mic. Put your SD card in here. And one good thing about this camera, they put your tripod mount way over here. Some of them in the middle, and you got to take it off the tripod, but they did good with this one. Uh, very lightweight uh, camera. This side looks like you got some microphones over here. Uh, you're going to have that's your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got your type C charging port. And then you're going to have a mini HDMI port right here. So this does have clean HDMI. So you can, uh, you can hook up and just live stream with this as well. You're going to have your power indicator light right here as well. And, uh, this camera when, when it's, uh, when it's recording, say you're recording yourself. Just like the ZV-1, you're going to have a red frame around there letting you know that it is recorded. So uh, those are a few of the features and details. I'm going to power this up, and then we'll take a look at uh, the quality, the footage on it, and see how it works, uh, see how good it is. All right, guys, Sony ZV-1F shooting in intelligent auto mode. I do have a lapel mic here. Got a couple of lights going here. I know my lighting situation is not the best. But this is kind of what you'll get as far as video quality and audio quality with a uh, lapel, lapel microphone or external microphone plugged into the camera. I just wanted to let you guys see uh, how this possibly could look. Now, like I said, I'm not the, I don't have the best lighting and I don't really know how to set up lighting for uh, shots like this. But uh, just to give you an idea of what you can do and kind of play with to get the best image out of it. This is intelligent auto mode, but you can also shoot in manual as well. So let's go ahead and try something else. All right, guys. So this is how I intend to use the camera doing product reviews like this. Top down or not quite top down, but this is how I want to use it. And I think it's going to be great for this. I am. This is the external microphone as well. I don't have a microphone plugged in, but you can plug in a mic. I do have product showcase on. You guys see it focuses very quick on my mouse here and then I'm going to bring in something else just to let you guys see how this work doing this type of video here it is and uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good I can adjust my light a little bit hook up in uh, the external microphone work with it like that but yeah this is gonna be great for what I need let's finish the video Okay, guys, so here's the camera with uh, with it turned on. Remember, this is a touch in, touch screen display as well. So you can rotate, rotate this around just like this. And you guys see that I'm shooting with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra right there. So if I was recording myself, I push the record button. 
You see, you're going to have a light right there and then you're going to be framed up. So, you know uh, that you're recording and then it's going to have all of your uh, settings on here as far as uh, your readings right there. Uh, lack of words. <laughs> but if you turn it off, then uh, that goes away. And you got all of your buttons here. Everything works there. Let's quickly go through the uh, menu here. So starting all the way at the top, let's go back. We cancel this and go all the way back to the top. So you're going to have my menu. And this is where you can assign different things, set up your buttons like you want. Uh, this is the shooting mode. So you guys see all of your sub menus here. You go through, cycle through, and set whatever you want. You got things like your shooting display, your mark display, uh, shutter, audio recording, uh, shooting mode, image quality, stuff like that. And the next one is going to be your exposure and color. You guys see the sub menus there. Next is going to be focus. Then you're going to have your playback. You go in and adjust stuff. Uh, network, this is where you can connect to a smartphone or something like that. And then you're going to have your setup. So the menu is pretty easy there to go through and set up different things there. So uh, you can close it up like this, protect your display. Or if you're shooting and don't need it, uh, need the display to be out to the side, then you can uh, shoot like that as well. So this Sony ZV-1F. It's going to be great for me, I think, uh, what I intend to use it for. Uh, but I may go outside and make a video of shooting some, you know, shooting outside with it and see how it looks as well. But I don't intend to use it like that. But Sony ZV-1F. Will H. I'm out.